Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of more stories, but I'm going to do it all on this one video, and this will be my last video for tonight. Um, this one is kind of fucked up. Uh, murder trial witness, Texas rapper Tay K was part of a plan to use sex and guns during a robbery. Now, I don't know how much of this is true because I don't know who this rapper is. Um, teenage rapper Tay, T-A-Y-K, there's a hyphen in there somewhere, was back in court in Fort Worth today for a second day of testimony in his capital murder trial. What the fuck? See, I want to get famous, but I want to get famous for this kind of shit. Um, from the witness on Tuesday, standing eye testimony about the teen using sex and guns as part of a robbery plan meant to get drugs and money. The testimony came from one of the teenage girls who planned in 2016 a home invasion robbery that left 21-year-old Ethan Walker dead. Sorry, Mr. Walker. The girl testified she reached out for... Uh... Uh... I guess you say a Tamor? I'm not good with spelling. And, you know, us black people with these fucked up ass names. Um, T-A-Y-M-O-R. McIntyre. A.K.A. Tay-K. On Instagram, believing he would be able to secure guns for the plan. Walker, a young father, didn't have any drugs or money and the team robbers were after. Testimony Wednesday focused on Walker namely explaining how a single shot to the stomach killed him. McIntyre gained notoriety after the crime. He cut off the GPS ankle monitor and went on the run recording songs and videos about how the whole thing eventually... Oh my god, I'm done. I'm not going to go into deep any more of this. Um, on my quest for fame, I don't want to be accused of robbery or rape or any of that other shit. Because those are some serious things. And this guy's going down for murder. And he's 21 or however the hell old he is. Don't throw your life away over dumb shit. Um, let me go on to the next story. Um, I went past this one. I'm not going to do the one about the, um, I went from being a cop to an opioid dealer in one month. That's a white cop. I'll give you a glimpse at him. I went from cop to opioid dealer in less than one month. Um, something about him dreaming of being a cop since he was five. He's 39 now. Uh, you guys can Google it. But that's the guy. I don't understand why people, um, throw away, like, promising careers. Okay, so, Greensboro Police is looking for an NFL player accused of strangling a woman. Um, it looks like it says Desmond Harrison. Let's find out. There's a video. I can't get the damn thing to play. Okay, maybe I can. No, that's a that's like an ad. So we can go ahead and um. Oh, what the hell? Technology. I'm not a football fan, so you guys can Google the damn video yourself. Um, it just showed the dude face. There he is. All right, I don't know who the hell he is. Nice hair, though. But, um, you know, Top Buzz and them be sending me some crazy stories. And if I'm interested in them, I pretty much give them to y'all. There's the K-pop stuff. Florida officially plays Baby Shark on repeat to keep the homeless people out of the local. What the? Yeah, that would keep me out of wherever that is, too. Um... Los Angeles police officer child and oh well I gotta do it. I have to do this because there have been stories, there have been things said about this, and most people don't ever believe that it can happen, but it has, and clearly I'm going to do this story. Okay. So I'm pretty pissed off about this also because a person in this kind of job should probably never be allowed to work anywhere outside of a prison ever again. 
Los Angeles police officer charged in multiple rapes after DNA hit. Ten-year veteran of the Los Angeles Police Department could face life in prison after his DNA matches evidence in 2015 cold case. Authorities said, oh man, Los Angeles authorities investigating a rape against Los Angeles police officer discovered evidence he committed a second earlier sexual assault through DNA testing, the police on Wednesday said. Police officer William Rodriguez, God bless it, 33, a 10-year veteran of the police department was alleged was assigned to the traffic division in San Fernando Valley. He was arrested Tuesday on two accounts of forcible rape with a special allegation of multiple victims in connection with the report of the sexual assault last November and the Los Angeles County District Attorney said the police said that when they ran Rodriguez's DNA through the FBI combined DNA index system, they got a hit on a cold case from August 2015. The prosecutor said that assault involved another female victim who was raped under similar circumstances. Police officer said Rodriguez, who was in custody and had been relieved of police authorities, for off-duty at the time of alleged assault. Rodriguez will be held in a pen arraignment on Thursday. Prosecutors said that they would seek bail for $1.2 million on the charges, which carry a maximum sentence of 30 years to life in prison. When one of our own breaks to trust other people to a sworn to serve and protect, it tarnishes the badge, and we are all wearing the badge proudly on our chest, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so like I said, there have been movies made about shit like this, you know, and for that to happen, it's kind of crazy. Um, 22-year-old man charged with 150 counts of possessing child pornography. Hell, this guy just fucked his life over. Okay, so, ah, oh Lord, it's an Asian fella. Um, I can't even pronounce his damn name, except for the Rudolph part. Suspect is 22-year-old Rudolph Sensei. I'm going to spell that shit out for you. S-E-N-G-S-Y. Of the 1200 block of Van Buren Drive, he was charged on 105 counts of child pornography and two counts of distributing child pornography. Okay, you know... There's a cutoff to stupidity. There is. This is your guy. I don't understand, one, how the fuck you even consider child pornography a thing. That's just, just wrong and disgusting. And as a person who likes anime and adult stuff, that's like on the lowest part of the list, and I don't understand how you can even find that shit. My teacher in my class last semester said that you would be surprised at the people that she has arrested for doing it, like preachers and other cops, which ties back into the first story that I did. And I was like, but it's not so much them that worries me. It's the asshole out here that's got the little children doing this shit. Those are the guys they need to catch. The guys fucking watching it, yeah, they're sick as fuck too. But they're not as sick as fuck as the fuckers that are making the kids have sex. And that's the thing. Like, why would you do that? Let a kid be a kid. But there are a lot of sick individuals in this world. I'm going to another story because this story is just like, it done pissed me off to no end. Oh, wow. I got to do it. Just because it's racist. Okay, it's kind of racist. It's not really racist. It, it, it depends on how you take it, which is why I'm doing it. I don't really think it's racist. I think that she voiced her opinion, and that could be it. I also haven't read the article all the way through, so we're going to do that. Okay, white woman tells her black date that she doesn't feel comfortable being around black people. Okay, before we go any further with reading this interview, I want to I wanna make this a thousand percent um, clear. There ain't a damn thing wrong with that. Y'all may have thought that that was racist. But I'm going to tell you right now that that's, that's, that's probably normal. When you first meet people, you know, you're not going to feel comfortable 
around certain people. Simple as that. The first white girl that I dated, I wasn't comfortable with that. And I was more or less feeling like a raisin in a bowl of milk. And, you know, it wasn't like a sex thing. It was just like a date thing. And my first serious girlfriend was white. And she basically only dated me because I was mixed. And her best friend was dating my best friend at the time. It was mixed. I have two best friends. No, not my testicles. But anyway, they're they're more like brothers than friends. A-dog and B-dog. Anyway, that's your shout out. I'm going to finish reading this and I'm going to give you guys an opinion. In fact, I may make a second video about this all in general. So a black man who was set to meet a white woman on a date had a second thoughts after she told him she didn't feel comfortable being a in a place with black people. Okay, I got to make a separate video. I'm sorry because honestly, this is going to be hot.